testing. Well, here we go, the play-in tournament. The play-in tournament as Lipscomb is a regular team and they are not historic, so we have a play-in tournament now. It'll be the Maui Invitational. The winner will go to the NCAA tournament for the best college basketball team ever. Consider this kind of a warm-up tournament because when we go to the NCAA tournament, it's the real thing. And when you lose, you're, it's done, it's over. And they all know that. And nobody wants to have that happen. As we take a look right now, the 1981 Brigham Young with Greg Kite, Trumba Roberts, Danny Ainge, and Craig will play against the 2004 Gonzaga Bulldogs. And we're about ready to go here. Should be a good one. This is the right to go to the next round. Remember, only the team. I don't know what in the world that did. But only the team that makes it to the championship game and then wins the championship game will win it all. Taking a quick look because I need to do this one more time because I need to get the roster really quickly here. BYU and Gonzaga, here is Gonzaga. You can see that Adam Morrison, very big. He didn't win at all. That was the famous shot of him in the corner upset. And there we go. We're about ready to go here. Gonzaga and BYU will be next. I don't know who to say that this game would be better off. I don't know. I really don't know. I, right now, I have no clue. Both Gonzaga and Brigham Young are good teams. They simmed well in the regular season. They just didn't make the tournament. So here's the play-in game here, the very beginning. This is all to get to the next round. So they have seven of these games. Only the winner will move on to the NCAA tournament and play Kentucky in the first round. So we're ready to go here from Maui. It is the Maui Invitational. Gonzaga and Brigham Young. Adam Morrison, one of the best and Freddie Roberts, number 34 for Brigham Young. Can Morrison lead them to the tournament? They're gonna have to win some big games. Here in Maui, we're about ready to go. Wait for a playing game. Gonzaga and BYU and we're underway and here's BYU who's gonna get it. The Hannah Civic Center here in Hawaii. It's going to be in. Into Ainge. Ainge looking and out of bounds. He just threw that one away. And Frank Arnold, the Cougars head coach here. Early on, and he'll pass it in here for Gonzaga. Looking for a possible big, big high scoring game here. As Step will have it, he'll pass. Morrison is number three. Violetti's inside, Morrison scores! And Adam Morrison, the early two points for Gonzaga. They're gonna do that all day, BYU's in trouble. They're gonna take it, Roberts, Danny Ainge for three, and he misses, Roberts the rebound! And that's Fred Roberts, he was one of the best team, one of the best players of the day. They were looked, they showed him, and it is 2-2. Both the preview scores have scored. But Morrison and Roberts. Violet, and here we go tonight. 
Knight looking around. There's gonna be a three. Step hits it, it's five to two. And Step nails it. Well, if they're gonna do this all day, BYU's got a long way to the tournament. Houston is the favorite here, but you just never know. They were shunned from the selection committee. That's gonna be inside and a miss. Trumbo can't hit it. And here's Knight, he's fouled. And Danny Ainge, his first foul of the day. You can't lose Ainge if you're BYU. 5-2 game early. And that foul, and now here's two shots for Errol Knight. First two free throws of the game, and he misses the first. Gonzaga leading five to two here. Early on, and that's gonna be a second one, six to two. The putting pressure on. Morrison, he can't pick up a cheap foul. And it's gonna be a steal. And they're gonna give to Morrison, he's fouled, and it almost counted, and that's Danny Ainge's second. Yeah, everything is in there, so Ainge has two fouls in two minutes. And you wanna talk about a way to lose a game. Now they gotta go more inside, Ainge. Oh, he's done Morrison for two, and he makes one. Gonzaga 2004 against BYU of 1981. And they're gonna make it eight to two. And again they trap. Craig is having trouble all day. And it's stolen again. Craig has had trouble. They got to do something else. Inside, and a miss. Oh, Violet couldn't have it. And BYU, they have it eight to two now. No Danny Ainge. Inside, and that's gonna be Trumbo, and that is his first two of the day. They want to slow it down if you're BYU. You got less of scoring out there. Morrison, a cross-court pass. Here's Knight. Back to Knight. Lyra cutting in. Knight, who wants to get it to Toriyoff, maybe. Here's Knight again. Inside, Knight. Deep, Knight will just take the three and miss. And they push it ahead. Mark Few upset. They get it out, they pass it inside and a score, easy, that's gonna be Craig. And Craig, I believe, has his first two, it's eight to six, Gonzaga leads. Very big. Early on, that's Knight inside, he scores and one. Richie Webb the foul. What a play inside. Earl Knight, he has three points, he's one for two today. And here comes Earl Knight. And he completes the three point play and Gonzaga has an 11 to six lead. And they're pressing again. Craig finally reverses the ball. They got to get over the 10 point, the 10 second line. The shot, Trumbo can't have it. I think they got to get it into Greg Kite a little bit more. Whether he shoots it or not is up to him. Morrison hasn't really been involved too much. Slammed away, and is that going to be a foul? Yes, Fred Roberts. And another foul on BYU. Good physical. Morrison's going to have a seat after four minutes and two points. 
for a foul. You can see in the background on BYU, and they're going to make one. Very big for Gonzaga. Step is at the line. This is Step, the point guard. He's going to make the second one, so Step nails it. And they're going to get it into Craig. He's had trouble. Step, Knight, Skinner, Turioff, and Violet. On the floor, there's another steal. And this is inside in a mess. Step has had about three or four steals today. They can't handle that press. BYU a little less. Oh, that's inside and a foul on Violet. This first. Finally going to the line is Fred Roberts. He's 6'10". He's a shooting forward. Here's Fred. He's got two shots here. They're down 13 to 6. And he nails one. It's 13 to 7. Now, all-time tournament play on playing games. The playing tournament to the all-time tournament. And he nails it. It's 13 to 8. Now they're playing a little bit of press. Morrison is not in. But they handle it a lot better. Here's Skinner. Skinner. Looking. Trying to go inside. They're holding a little back. They got Turi off. Who's number one. He hasn't really touched the ball today. He gets it now. Skinner. And he misses. It's going to be a rebound for BYU. So BYU 5-2 in rebounds here, or a quarter way through the first half. It's been blocked down with a lot of fouls. There's going to be a two, and it hits from the side. I think that's a two, and it is a two. And BYU, it's like the ninth man. Inside, the fade around, can't hit it. Skinner could hit it, and here comes Roberts now for BYU. It's 13 to 10. They're slowing it down. Ainge had two fouls in the first two minutes. They got a bigger lineup. They're not a shooting lineup, and that's going to be a shot no good. My goodness, is that Ainge back in? Yep, it is Ainge with two fouls. He's got to be wary of a third. No, that's not Ainge. That's Craig. But there's two, and he missed. Here comes BYU at 13 to 10. Remember, the blue line is the three-point line. Get it to the outside. Craig inside. And a score right there. That is Trumbo. And Trumbo hits. Only 30% for Gonzaga. They started out really well. They've hit their free throws. But now here comes inside trying to get it. They turn it over. And here's BYU. They were down early. And now they're fighting their way back into this game. Gonzaga 13, BYU 12. They pass it over. Inside. And that's going to be Craig. And Craig scores. An 8 to nothing run for BYU. Ain't nothing. It was 13 to 6, and now it's 14-13. It'll be inside tonight, and a foul here by Richie Webb. Richie Webb has played a good game so far, but a foul. They caught him on a mismatch, and here comes some sub. Errol Knight is four points. He's one for two in field goal. Comes there all night, and he's going to hit one. The very beginning here, Gonzaga's going to have one more shot. The winner moves on. The loser goes home. Knight misses, and they're going to throw it down quickly. Here comes Pat Bailiff. Bailiff with the ball. They're going to swing it around. 
Inside, Bailiff, and he's fouled. Tony Skinner, a lot of fouls here, early. Big foul. Molly Invitational on ESPN. The tournament will be on CBS. Ray Bailiff now, the point guard. These, I don't want to say, are Tier B teams going in. They weren't selected out of the, we simmed the regular season. We simmed it. And now we're gonna put in the tournament. Bailiff and he misses. Bankhead, Skinner, Morrison, Mallon, and Fox are in. And what is it underneath? Is that a foul away from the ball? Maybe it's just a timeout, I don't know. But it is 15 to 14, Brigham Young lead. Here in the first half. I think that's gonna be a timeout by Gonzaga. Enjoy the timeout. You know, Gonzaga thought to themselves, we can compete. But remember, you gotta play teams like Nevada, Las Vegas, and you gotta you gotta play teams like that as Mark Few. Everybody gets their day. Seven total games. In mid-May, we'll start all the other games, the tournament. And here they go, it's gonna be inside, trying to get it to Morrison, and he doesn't wanna get the cheap foul here. BYU has come back, they were down big early. And it's gonna be inside blocked, and here they go the other way. What a block by, what a block by very big for Gonzaga, the ninth man on the bench. Morrison, it's gonna be inside, and there's a foul. They're using the whole bench, Greg Baylor with the foul. They are subbing everybody. A lot of fouls here early. Kyle Bankhead. They're down by one, they haven't scored a field goal in a long time, and Bankhead hits one. Very physical game, I didn't expect this. He had a lot of free throws going in this game. And he misses. Rebound for BYU. Craig Bailiff, Roberts, Trumbo, and Kite on the floor. It's a bigger lineup. They're going to play half court. They'll get it to the outside. That's going to be a three, and he hits. Fred Roberts, a three-pointer. And BYU now has an 18-15 lead. Oh, what a three-pointer. What a huge three that is. Morrison. And he goes to the inside in another foul, Greg Baylor. A lot of fouls here early, and Baylor for another hard one. Some subs coming in. Bankhead goes out, and here comes Errol Knight. Seven and two in fouls. They gotta, they gotta watch themselves. He'll be in a double bonus here early, and that's gonna be a Eight shot, 18-16. Almost halfway through this first half. Night again, and he nails it. It's now 18-17. They're coming inside, and they go outside. They reverse it around. Trying to go now. It's gonna be inside Roberts, and he's fouled by Ronnie Turia. That's gonna be Turias' first foul. Seven to three in fouls. Fred Roberts has seven of BYU's 18. You can see people off Gonzaga coming off the bench and Roberts misses. 
lot of BYU fans, a few Gonzaga fans. You would expect it to be the other way around because Gonzaga's a lot closer. Oh, BYU is in Utah. And there's another one. He makes it. It'll be 19 to 17. And they bring it in. A slow moving game now. Roberts has eight points. He's two and two in field goals. And the rest have been, well, Roberts hit a three. Three free throws. Terry Aft. Craig Christensen, Roberts, Trumbo, and Kite, and that's a shot, and he missed it. Well, Violet, not a good-looking shot. That's going to be inside, and a miss. He gets his own rebound, and he can't hit it. Trumbo, two shots there close, and he can't put it in. We'll tell you they're trying to get inside, and that's going to be a foul. Craig Christensen. That's going to be another foul. Craig Christensen. And here's Errol Knight. Free throws have been crazy in this game. Two shots. And they're going to make one. 19 to 18. We've had zero flow to this game. Small gyms, big importance. And Gonzaga has tied BYU now. Danny Ainge had two fouls in the first two minutes. They get it over the line. They do now. Almost. Roberts, and he can't hit it. Trumbo, and he can't hit it. Roberts again, and he's fouled Adam Morris in his first. That is so big. That is Greg Kite. Greg Kite, 6'11". BYU very tall. They got to make all their free throws and everything. And he misses one. Seriously, how in the heck? How do you do this? 1919, Gonzaga and BYU. And a miss here. Morrison will get the ball now. Rebound by Violet. Good defensively, hasn't scored really. They go off, that's a three, and he nails it. Very big for step. And he has eight points at two or three shooting, and a three here, and Gonzaga has a three-point lead. Largest lead, Gonzaga by seven, four ties and six lead changes. We're halfway through the first. They go inside, that's a foul, and that's on Errol Knight. What do you do? Christensen will go to the line. Subs are coming in and out. Greg Christensen. And he's gonna get two shots. And the nail is first. 22 to 20, Gonzaga leads BYU. Second shot is good. And Gonzaga, 22-21 game. BYU is coming back. They played back and forth. They were down early, big. And then they came back, Turioff. And it's going to be a foul. And at least a one and one, or what is it? It's going to be maybe a 10-second violation. I don't know. What a game so far. You can see Adam Morrison hitting a couple shots. And it might be a 10 second violation. They're gonna go inside, actually to the outside. And here's Roberts. Roberts against Morrison, he can't do it. He tried going one on one. Long first half. Very, very long. A lot of fouls happening. Curry off to Morrison, and Morrison misses. BYU will have it back. 22 to 21. Nine minutes to go here in the first. Roberts, it's going to be outside, inside. It was touched, nothing, and a foul here. 
Greg Kite will go to the line. The foul's on Fox. Well, the Fox's big thing is he didn't box out and get the rebound. We'll come out. By that, we'll come back in. Twenty-two to twenty-one. Gonzaga leads. And Kite misses. He's not a good free throw shooter. He hasn't done well today. Brigham Young in 1981 against Gonzaga 2004. And he misses both. Here's Adam Morrison. Morrison, Danny Ainge hasn't been in. And they might keep him out to the half. And they're gonna push it down. No reason to get three fouls in the first half. Here it is, Roberts. They're gonna be outside now. 5-4 in turnover. Trumbo. Inside the kite, and kite misses. Morris in the rebound, they push it down the other way. Here's Knight. They can't have it, we finally have more two, two trips in a row without a whistle. And they go inside, Turiaf, and he can't have it. And here comes BYU now, they push it down. 22 to 21. And again, he runs out of play. That wasn't good at all. And here comes Gonzaga now. Eight minutes to go here in the first, 22-21. Inside, and the two, and he missed it. Step couldn't hit that. We go to the other way. Down by one. It's been a little bit of a walk, some sloppy game. A little bit, here's the half court game now. Fox is calling for it at the very top. They give it to the side. They give it to Fox, he's fouled. And that's gonna be on Fernand. A lot of subs coming in, a lot of fouls. Richard Fox, 9-8 and foul. I mean, my goodness. Playing a high school basketball game. And he nails one. Remember when we had Houston playing in their game as a test game? It was in the 80s, he didn't have all these fouls. Fox misses. They're gonna pass it down, one-on-one, -on -one, and a foul here, but they went quickly. That was huge. As Craig has it and he gets fouled, he went deep. There's subs every second, man alive. There's a lot of fouls here. Steve Craig will shoot two, 23-21. Gonna be inside the rebound, no good. And here comes Gonzaga, tied at 23. Finally, they're gonna pass it over. Knight inside, and that's gonna be a foul. Look at all these players in foul trouble. 
That's Christensen in foul trouble. Another subs coming in. Al Banca. Gonzaga leads BYU. And they're going to go back, and here it is. Craig Roberts, Sherilyn, Trumbo, and Furness in a timeout for BYU. First half, 6.25 to go. And all of a sudden, this game has been crazy. It's been physical. Lots of fouls in Gonzaga by one. You used a timeout there. Steph Knight, Morrison, Curry F, and Fox are on the floor. Brigham Saga, eight minutes. That's a nice shot in this. And here comes Adam Morrison, who's back on the floor. Brigham Saga. Fox has been good. They go to the corner, Knight. They try and go inside, and he nails it. That's Steph. It makes it a three-point game. He has 10 points and three steals. A lot of those steals were early when they tried to press. They'll take it outside. It's going to be a shot. He missed it. Gonzaga playing more of a half-court offense now. 26-23. A lot of fouls. I don't know. That's going to be into Morrison. Morrison misses. BYU hasn't scored in a couple minutes. Five minutes to go. The tip no good. The foul. And again to the line. This will be Furness. Furness will go to the line. Fox will come out. Violet will come in. Gary Furness, 0-1 in field goal. Now he's going to shoot two. He makes one. 26 to 24. Not exactly the greatest of classy games. 26, 25. Subs coming in. Furness comes out. They have to do this because of the foul situation which is incredible. Craig Roberts, Sterling, Trumbo tight. Danny Ainge has not played since the first two minutes when he got two fouls. No need for him to come in now. Morrison is back. He's slowing it down to get some time off. Curry up, and that's going to be another foul. Steve Trumbo, and that is his first. It's an ugly game, an ugly, ugly game. But it doesn't matter as Ronnie Turiaf, who has no points today, is gonna shoot two free throws. Saga by one, and still by one. Winner goes to the next round. Saga leading BYU by one. We thought it would be a lot more offensive than this, and he misses both. And here's BYU. I thought it'd be a ton more offensive than this. Very sloppy, very defensive. That's going to be two, and he misses. That was a big miss by Roberts. Knight will have the rebound. Plus 
question is, you're Gonzaga, what do you do? You gotta start taking some of the shot clock off. They go into Adam Morrison who can't hit. Nobody can hit, my goodness. They go inside Roberts and he misses. Nobody is doing anything. A lot of free throws, a lot of missed shots. Four minutes to go. Morrison going in tonight. He scores. That's night. He has 11. He's two or three field goals. And with his 11th point, Gonzaga by three. Taking a rest is BYU. That's a three. Roberts, no good. They're not, remember when 80, 1981 BYU, there was no three point line and no shot clock. Inside, the hook shot by Knight, no good. And it's gonna be a rebound. They got a size advantage, and that's what they're trying to do now. They got a totally different lineup out there than what they started with. Almost stolen away, and in, no good, rebound. Trumbo, and Trumbo puts it through. His sixth point. Gonzaga by one under three minutes. There's finally some flow to this game. Give to Adam Morrison. Curry off, Knight, the turnaround, no good. and it's going to be taken away by Terria. And here's Knight. 28-27. Terria tonight. And he misses. He should have just taken, taken the open shot. He just faded away from nobody. And there's two minutes to go. This has been an ugly half. This has been a real ugly half. And a miss. 28-27. Under two minutes. BYU is a little more defensive than what you think. You think of, there's a foul on Kite. It's first. Greg Kite doesn't like the call, but oh well, got him with the body. Steph will be on the line for two. Danny Ainge is in the game. He's got to be careful in getting his third foul. And they're going to nail one. The second free throw. He nails it. 30 to 27. A minute 41 to go. Step 12 points. Three of five field goal. And the fadeaway nails it. Oh, that is huge. Roberts. Fred Roberts with 10 points on the fadeaway. And now cuts it to one. They're going to hold the ball. Haynes, Roberts, Bartholomew, Trumbull, Furness, a three. And he misses, rebound put up and misses again and can't do it. That was Mallon who couldn't get the rebound in. Under a minute, they're holding. Ainge, no good. And here they go, they got a hold. They're up by one in an ugly half where everybody has fouls. A three, misses. The shot selection has been awful. Two and a miss. So here's Gonzaga. They're gonna hold for the last shot. Third 
There's a, there's a nice one. That was a great shot. Skinner put it in. And Skinner with less than 10 seconds. And BYU is gonna hold for the final shot. Here's Ainge. Ainge at three, and he misses. An ugly first half of shooting. But Gonzaga has a 32 to 29 lead after one half. Oh my goodness. Nobody's doing what they need to to win the game. Except for Brigham Young. They are stopping the penetration, that's it. Not getting the ball deep, Gonzaga, as they begin the second half. That first half had so many fouls, it was ridiculous. Step at 12 to lead the game tight for BYU. The assist leaders, Morrison and Roberts. As we begin the second, the winner goes to the semifinals of this tournament. It's only an eight-team tournament to try and make the NCAA. Craig, Ains, Roberts, Trumbo, and Kite on the floor. They want to go to Morrison. They're not there. Here's Knight. He misses, and here's BYU now. Ains. He can make it from here. Angel give it over. Inside the kite. Misses. And Curry after rebound. Oh, what an ugly game. Morrison as we begin tonight. And that'll be out of bounds. And it'll be Gonzaga's ball. Outside is Steph. He's the leading scorer in the game with 12. They go inside to Steph, and he misses. Nobody's hitting anything. My goodness. BYU hasn't scored the last three minutes. Trumbo, and he throws it away. Here comes Gonzaga. I can see why, why these teams didn't make it. Morrison. Morrison. Inside, and they throw it away again. BYU has been stuck on their point total for a while. Ames. Trying to run the offense. He's got Craig up top in the back. Ainge again going inside. What a move by Ainge and he can't put it down. Oh, they're going slow because of the foul trouble that everybody's in. Tonight, what a run. And they can't have it. What a nice shot. Nobody making a thing. Ainge and he can't hit. My goodness, nobody can hit anything. They've been stuck on the score for a while. Step, and he misses. Wow. Can somebody make a basket? My goodness. That'll be the Ainge. I don't know how many field goals they actually have, and he turns it over. And Knight will have it for Gonzaga. It's 2004 Gonzaga against 1981 BYU. Morrison inside the night and one. Steve Craig on the foul. What a pass by Morrison. The leader in assists right now for Gonzaga. Errol Knight has 13 points. and he scores there, it's up to six. 
35-29. Here they go. The trap. I think Ains is just going to play the rest, no matter what foul trouble he's in, unless they got a lead. Trying to get the Ains, and they can't do it. Not, not anything happening here. My goodness. Oh, what a play. Morrison, right down the throat. It's an eight-point lead. Gonzaga has an eight-point lead. Now, I don't think BYU has scored this half. Adam Morrison, my goodness. Inside to Greg Kite, and Greg Kite cuts it to six. We're going to need that. We're going to need a few in a row. Morrison, he's blocked. He is blocked right there. That was big by Fox. That was Roberts, Fred Roberts with the block, the turnaround, and the miss. Trumbo couldn't hit it. Roberts with the block the last time down, wanting to do the same thing on Morrison. Well, here it is. Morrison doesn't have anything. Knight, he misses. My goodness, nobody's scoring. We've seen these games before. Roberts to the outside. Ames misses. Rebound, Greg Kite. And Greg Kite again, the offensive board. It's now a four-point game. Nobody can do anything. That's a steal and a takeaway. My goodness, the turnovers are incredible. Oh, to Ainge, it's now a two-point game. Two points all the way back there, down eight. They're down 37 to 29. And BYU has come back. They came back at the beginning of the game. Curry off inside to Morrison and knocked away. And Ainge, he nails it, and Ainge just tied the game, an 8-0 run. An 8-0 run for Danny Ainge. And that time isn't right, but an 8-0 run for BYU. And BYU in 1981 has tied this game up. The two, Knight can't hit it. And here comes, here comes BYU now. Running a half-court sack. Inside, look at that, oh my goodness, right there. That is incredible for Craig. Craig is just, that's a timeout for Gonzaga. And BYU now has a 39-37 lead, a 10-0 run. And right now, 1981 BYU is taking command. the timeout here. Gonzaga giving up a 10-0 run. The BYU has a two-point lead. And right now, Steph is the ball. That'll be Fox inside trying to hit Steph and it's out of play. Brigham Young. Offensive rebound, so big. And the way they passed it, that was so big. And Danny Ames, but the offensive boards are incredible. Roberts there, from sub. It has been a quicker second half because you haven't had 
The craziness, and out of be tipped away again. Given had all those fouls. In the first half, there were so many fouls, it was ridiculous. Gonzaga will throw it in. Here's Steph. Trey Gaines, Roberts, Trumbo, and Kite for BYU. Curry off. It'll be in. And he nails it. That's right. Exactly what they need to do. Worked it around, and they got that. I think they were getting a little rattled. They had an 8-0 lead, and they weren't working for the best shot. They bring it back. Here's Roberts. That's an offensive foul, and Gonzaga will get it back. Fred Roberts has an offensive foul. Does not go to the team total. Morrison. Morrison, it's a turnover. And here's Ames. Inside to Greg Kite. Misses. And Turioff will give to Morrison. We want to talk about this, this game not being a scoring game. Inside, Steph, and he can't have it. And here comes BYU again. Ainge again, tied at 39. Inside to Ainge. And Ainge, fade away, and he puts it in Danny Ainge. And BYU has a two-point lead over Gonzaga. BYU in 1981 over Gonzaga of 2004. Morrison, and that's going to be taken away. And here's BYU now, 41 to 39. Red Kite. Going to go to Ainge. See the difference he makes when he's in. Ainge, he's fouled. And that's going to be big. I think that's on. Who's that on? I think that's Violet. Maybe. Yeah, that's going to be on him. Turiaf comes out. Danny Ainge with six points. He didn't play most of the first half because he had two fouls. And Ainge, he misses. As everybody rolls their eyes and says it's that kind of a game. 41-39 BYU. And O'Neal the second. It's a three-point game. There you see on the floor, Steph Knight, Morrison, Malone, and Violet. Inside of Morrison, and he's fouled by Fred Roberts. And these fouls keep, keep adding up. That was a hard foul. Greg will come out. Bailiff will come in for Craig. Here's Adam Morrison, he only has six points. And he misses. An off day for everyone, I guess. Morrison. And he nails it. Like Danny Ainge, he misses his first and makes the second. Here's the press. Push it up the floor. Bailiff. Bailiff. He's got Ainge open. Bailiff misses. And here's Gonzaga down by two during the halfway of the second half. Morrison, the step. In and out the night. Night. Oh, in and out. In and out. Here's Danny Ainge. Fred Roberts in the Ainge. And Ainge got it. It's 44 to 40. Off the ball, working hard. Trumbo to Roberts to Ainge. Ten minutes to go here in the game. 
And another miss. Here's Steph. It's taken away, and here comes BYU again. The question is, will they push it a whole back? Inside the tight, who nails it? It's 46 to 40. They're starting to hit their shots. This looks like this is going to be a 60 point game for the winner. Violet inside tonight, and he nails it. So back and forth, they're not taking any fouls now. 46 42. Outside, Trumbo, Roberts, and it hit the back of the backboard, and that's Bailiff, and I think that's gonna be out of play. Lots of blocks. Gonzaga will have it. Gray Gaines, Roberts, Trumbo, and Furness. On the floor, under nine minutes to go. It's a four point game. Fox inside the Turia. And they go to Fox. Three. Good night. He hits it a big three. Oh, that is huge. And Gonzaga's pulled within one. And here's BYU, that's Roberts, and he misses. Give it again, he just hit a three. That's Trumbull. Looking, they're gonna hit this one again. Near midcourt. They bring it, we got eight minutes. A one point game. Turia. To Fox, Fox, and no good, and rebound by Trumbo. Here's Brown, 46-45. Brown, inside to Ainge, yes, he got it. Danny Ainge, and he's heating up. It's a three-point game, and BYU has a lead, 48-45, seven and a half remaining. Step, the Turi out, no, and it's gonna be back to Skinner. Skinner will have it. Skinner, keeping the ball, they are holding the ball a little bit here. Skinner, he's trying to go inside, he finally will go in, that's a foul. Roberts and Ainge both have three. I believe that's gonna be on Danny Ainge. Ainge goes out of the game, a three-point lead. Kyle Blankhead, 2004 Gonzaga, and he misses. Wow, this is an ugly game. 48-45, 48-46. And here they go. Craig Webb, Roberts, Furness, and Kite. Oh, what a move. And foul, that's Craig. Who gets fouled, is that Curry off? No, it's Blankhead. Blankhead with a foul there. Steve Craig. The first half was ugly and foul ridden. This has been pretty good. And Craig will miss one. Nobody can hit their shot. This is an ugly game. And Craig nails it. 49-46. Craig Ains, Roberts, Furness, and Kite on the floor for BYU. Blankhead. Adam Morrison might be one and done. 
Carson will take a look. Curry up and a foul. That's going to be on Greg Tice. We're going to have a different game. I mean, Houston and Temple, that's going to be a big one. But here's Turiaf for two, and he nails one. Now the second shot for Turiaf, down by two, 49-47. Misses, it's short, and still in is Terry up, and now he's fouled again. And that's on Craig Kite, that's his third. And he didn't like it. Terry up has one point. He's not been a big factor today. And this is a pro BYU crowd, and he misses one. 49-47. And he misses both. And Kite will get the rebound, and he gives it to Robert. Staff Knight, Murison, Turiaf, and Violet. And that's going to be a foul on Violet. Now the foul shooting contest starts. Great Kite might have traveled. Six points and 12 rebounds for Greg Kite. Now he's gonna shoot two. And he nails one. BYU in 1981, leading Gonzaga of 2004. They're leading him by three points. And Greg Kite now. He'll miss. My goodness. It's almost like playoff hockey, it feels like it. You're not graceful at all. You're sweating every possession now. Somebody gets two or three in a row, it's gonna be over. They give to Morrison. Feels like a game right out of the early 80s. In the Morrison, he puts it through. Adam Morrison, and now it's a one point game. Under six minutes to go. BYU, are they gonna take some time off or not? They go inside, Greg Kite, he misses. Morrison the rebound, and here comes Gonzaga, they can take the lead. And over to the side is Steph, he was the leading scorer at the half, and they turn it over again, and BYU wants to hold it for a little bit. They wanna hold it and run their offense. Looking to drive. BYU down by one, up by one. Five minutes to go. Outside, Roberts inside. Nice pass and another miss. Hard to believe. Inside to Morrison. No, and he can't hit. And here they go. BYU by one. Adam Morrison had it. He'll swing it over. Three fouls for Ames. He's out right now. It'll be in. He scores. That is, I forget his name. It's not on the list. But it's a three-point game now. BYU leads. What a hard defensive game. That's Knight. And Knight misses. And Kite the rebound. And now BYU might hold for a little bit. Four minutes to go, they lead by three. Over to the side. And the fadeaway, Roberts, and he couldn't hit. Here's Morrison tonight. Adam Morrison. That's gonna be in the step. And he does not score, but he's fouled by Greg Kite. Adam Morrison inside that last basket he had. That, that did not go in off the dunk. What was that? 
I think that was an offensive foul. But it doesn't matter, a steal and a lay-in is good. And Gonzaga now, that was huge. It's a one-point game. Fox, Skinner is number five, I believe. And that's gonna be score again. That's Bailiff, and Bailiff scored for BYU. It's a three-point game. This game is really heating up. Three minutes to go. Three, and a miss. Rebound, Fox, and he's fouled, and he'll go to the line. Dave McGuire with the foul, and we're seeing people like Dave McGuire. Yes, that's right, Dave McGuire. Richard Fox, a point and two blocks. And he'll miss. Three minutes to go. Fox trying to get one of these two. And he nailed it. 54-52, now here comes the press. Trying to get out of it. They're taking a lot of time. There's a 10 second violation. That's 10 seconds. And now here comes Gonzaga. Gonzaga down by two. Knight with 18 and Ainge with 11. Ainge has only played a half because of foul trouble. Inside it gets kicked around, another turnover. Here's BYU, a two-point game. Jeez, in the 1970s, you'd be fouling without a shot clock. Oh my God, and that was... Roberts out of play, that's the third time he's done that. Two and a half minutes. 54-52, BYU. Inside and missed it. Rebound. Oh, no good. Fox couldn't tie the game up. And here's two minutes to go. And they're just playing half court. Inside and it's taken away. Another turnover. And a foul. And they can tie it up. Skinner's to the line. Skinner will go to the line to try and tie this game up. Tony Skinner. And he nailed it. A minute and 56 to go. The winner moves on here in a play-in tournament. Missed it. They go the other way. Oh, he thought about doing it. Oh, Ames was open, they go inside, and he scores! That's a big basket! A huge one for Craig! And it's a three-point game, a minute and a half to go. Craig nailed it. Outside, they go in, that's step, step, it's a one-point game. Under a minute and a half. They're gonna hold it. A minute and 16. Second and second half. A minute to go. Tight. Can't get it. Here comes Gonzaga. They can take the lead. Here's Knight. Knight. He got the lead. Gonzaga has it under a minute to go. A one point game. BYU in 1981. Looking. Looking rattled right now, Ainge, and they go. They go into Roberts, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted by Gonzaga. And step, a foul, and a dunk, it counts! It counts, and a dunk, and a damn one! And the Gonzaga fans are loving this. Blake step. He's gonna have one shot. And he nails it. 
60 to 56, under 40 seconds to go. They got to get a quick basket. And they reverse it over. Here's Kite. Turnovers are the story. They only got 24 seconds. They got to hurry this up. To the outside, Ames for three. No good, and Morrison will be fouled. And that should be it. And here's Morrison. He's going to have two shots, a double bonus. Adam Morrison. And he makes one. Now they got to hit a three anyway. 15 seconds to go. Gonzaga has won the last couple minutes. And they miss it. Here comes BYU. They go all the way down in a timeout. They need to get two scores. 61-56, Gonzaga. Well, they move on. They want to get in that slot where they play Kentucky. I mean, what do you do if you're, if you're BYU, you need a three, and they're going to probably run Danny Ainge so he can hit a three. Probably. That's the only thing that I would guess is they would hit Danny Ainge for a three. This is big time. Right here, and BYU has to get this. If they miss this shot, it's pretty much over. I mean, they can foul and do whatever they want, but it's pretty much over if they don't hit this. If I were them, I'd cycle around Ainge. Your best hope is to try and get Ainge the pass back for the three. They get that for the three, and he misses. And it's Gonzaga's, and that's tight with the foul, and it's all over. And Corey Violet, he has no points today. He'll try his first. And he nails it. One more, and it is over. Gonzaga will move on. And he hits it, 63-56. I don't know who I'd put as the player of the game. And they're gonna call a timeout with seven seconds to go. I just don't know what you would do. And a full timeout here. I, I don't know what you would do if you're BYU. Basically, you tell everybody, well, we didn't qualify for a reason. This, this game was ugly because we weren't that good. They weren't fast at all. They had a couple good players, but they got in foul trouble. When they played the half court game, they were pretty good. That wasn't all the way, though, and BYU's got to Gonna lose. And this takes a long time. I'll tell you what, this game was a long game. There was probably about 50 fouls in this game, 40 or 50 of them. Or I would say 30 to 40. It, you know, I don't know of anybody that fouled out, but there was about 30 to 40 total fouls. And with seven seconds to go, in this game, they just want this game to be over with. So they got to hit a three, and they got to hit every three, and they can't walk it up like they are now. They got to shoot it, and that's not going to do a thing. The final score, Gonzaga 63, BYU 56. And look at Gonzaga. They're happy they did it. Happy about this, and... Angry is BYU. Their, their tournament comes to an end. Blake Stepp, 17 points and four steals. He's probably going to get player of the game. And that's it for us today. The final score. A seven-point win for Gonzaga. 
As they win 63 to 56. Post game show coming up. And it is the post game show. Right now, the team stats. You can see right here a lot of uh, missed shots. The turnover, 17-13. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. The first half points, 32-29 against Aga, then 31-27 against Aga after that. The player stats, first for uh, Gonzaga. You can see that Step had 17, Knight had 20. And it looked good there for the Cougars. Well, they spread it out. Danny Ainge had 11, but he was only in the game for a half. Not the greatest of games at all. And when you look at the shots taken, well, Brigham Young, all their shots, very rarely did they hit an outside shot. They only shot 34%. They don't look good there. For Gonzaga, they shot 32%. That was even worse. Oh, oh my goodness. What a, what a difficult game, really. A difficult game. Well, that's going to be it for us today. And we will be able to see really quickly who plays next and where. And the next game... is Houston and Temple. So Houston and Temple should be a good one. University of Houston and Temple. Have a great day. We're gonna see you tomorrow for that one.